Let's record a student playing an instrument and then take that recording and post it online. Now a teacher would be able to listen to the recording and provide feedback for the student to review. The free app Voice Recorder Pro is available in the iTunes App Store and it allows you to record audio on the iPad. Once the audio is recorded, you have some other features too. To begin recording using your iPad, simply press record. You can pause any time during the recording, and when you're finished, just press stop. Once your audio has been recorded, it'll be listed inside the app. Tapping on the audio will give you some information about what else you can do, including trimming and posting to other locations. You can also convert it to an MP3 file, which will be very valuable if you post it to sites like Edmodo. Once it's converted to an MP3 file, press the back button and open the MP3 file. Here you'll have some of the same features, but this time you're going to want to upload it to Edmodo. In Edmodo, you'll be able to attach it to a note or turn it in or put it into your backpack. If you attach it to a note, you would simply leave a message about what this post is about and the attachment is already included at the bottom. Once you're finished, you press done and it will post itself up onto the Edmodo website. In this case, I've selected to just post it to my teacher and off it goes. Once the student posts, the teacher will see that there's a new direct post. They'll be able to click on the post and notice that there is a player right there to play the MP3 file. Now, if you don't use an MP3 file and you don't convert it, you'll get a file that, um, when posted to Edmodo, will need to be downloaded and then played through something else. So here is nice because you can play it and then you can just give some feedback, write in a reply, and it's there as a nice record of the progress. He could see his breath in the dim light. Annie st was staring out the window. This is Camelot, she said. Now that was an example of a child reading from his chapter book and you could record the progress of a uh, student's reading and then you have the same thing, you have the same features. Um, I would take that file and convert it to an mp3 because if you warehouse them on Edmodo then you'll have that nice player again to listen to it right from the Edmodo page. Once the file is converted and it'll depend on how big it is, you just uh, go back to the main listing and find the file in the list. So it'll say mp3 and just tap on that and you still have all the same features except for just a few. And uh, one of the things is you could post it to Google Drive or Dropbox or other things that you may use in your school. Um, in this case we're again going to open it in um, Edmodo and upload it in Edmodo. But before we do that take a look at the camera button. The camera button up on the top right or top left will allow you to attach a picture to the audio. So in this case we could take the book that the child was reading, um, line it up, snap a picture of the book that he was reading, and then this picture gets um, attached to the actual file for the the recording. So here you just two finger pinch and slide it around and fit it to the um, size that you want and as soon as you're ready then go ahead and tap um, the close button and it'll be attached uh, to this audio file. And then that way you can have, imagine you'd have all this listed here and you could be able to see all the different books that the child is reading. Um, you can rename the files and stuff like that for organization. So uh, let's take a look again what this would look like from an Edmodo standpoint. This time we're going to take this audio and we're going to turn it in. So choosing Add to Backpack uploads the audio file up to Edmodo and then the child can turn it in through an assignment. We've tried to turn in with an assignment button but it seems to have failed a couple times. So get it in the backpack first. So here is the child's uh, Edmodo. Notice there's an assignment. You tap Turn In. And um, he's going to say, this is my chapter two. Um, after tap, tapping it in, you always got to leave a little message there. And then at the bottom, there's an attach. You go to the backpack, choose the audio file, and you get this weird error, but don't worry. Just hit attach, and it will still be attached to the, the student's post, and it'll still show up in Edmodo. Um, it may take a little bit to kind of upload the file. Um, the kid gives a f some feedback and there it says submitted and now the audio file has been put into the child's Enmodo and it's ready to go. Now after the student has posted the audio from an iPad we can go over to the desktop computer see it from a teacher's perspective. They turned in an assignment 
Emmett has turned in the assignment. It's called Reading Records. Click on Reading Records, and there's Emmett's assignment. He's typed Chapter 2, and we can listen. Jack shivered. He could see his breath in the dim light. And Being an MP3 file, you get the player right there, and then you can post all the things you do with a typical assignment, the grade. Um, you can go down to the comments section and leave your feedback there by adding a, a comment to it. You can also do the ratings. Let's make them a rock star. And uh, once the comments are in there, you've got the entire process. We've gone from iPad to Edmodo with audio. Enjoy!